The year is 2024 and the question still persists. Are there any really good alternatives to Firebase? Hi, I'm Alex, the architect from MacRap, and today we're going to discuss Firebase alternatives. Firebase is Google's app development platform. It's hugely popular, has lots of features, and it's very well documented. But there are some caveats that you should be aware of before you start deploying your applications to Firebase. And in this video, we're going to describe a few things that you should pay attention to before you start developing your app by using Firebase. These are the key points that you should consider before you start delivering your apps to Firebase. First one, it's not open source, which means you do not have access to its source code and cannot customize it yourself. Also, it has what we call vendor lock-in, which is a situation where a company makes it more difficult for you to retrieve your data and app so you can run it from somewhere else. It also works only on Google Cloud Platform and you cannot run it yourself. It has a very complex pricing strategy, making it hard to predict how much your app is going to cost as it grows over time. And it also does not support GraphQL from the start. It has two distinct databases, but both are non-SQL, so you do not have access to SQL databases in Firebase. Backfrap is usually the first alternative to Firebase because it's mostly a no-brainer. We offer every single feature they do and we offer so much more as a company. We start by the fact that Backfrap's backend as a service is based on a full open source stack so we know exactly what's happening behind the scenes. We are also multi-cloud so you can choose not only on which cloud you want to run your application from but also where you want your application to run from so it answers faster to your end users. We also have a very, very predictable pricing model, so you can know beforehand how much you're going to spend to run your app in back for app, even if it grows over time. And we also have free plans for those of you who are starting right now. We also offer GraphQL support, and we offer SQL and non-SQL database, and no vendor lock-in. Then we've got Amazon's AWS Amplify, which is Amazon's response to Firebase. It works beautifully and integrates very easily with other AWS products such as DynamoDB, Lambda Functions, S3, and Cognito. The problem with AWS Amplify is that it tries to enforce you to use other Amazon's AWS products such as DynamoDB and Lambda Functions. And that can get very expensive very, very fast as your application grows. As it tries to enforce you to use more and more products from the same provider, it makes it very hard to leave their services if you're not satisfied or if it's get, it gets expensive over time. Superbase is another excellent Firebase alternative that works with open source technology. It allows you to host your app in a self-host environment or in Superbase Cloud. It supports many different programming languages and has lots of features. It's growing really, really fast and has a good price strategy and no vendor lock-in. Firebase, being Google's app development platform, has many, many features, millions of users, and very good documentation. But depending on what you're trying to achieve, there are better and cheaper options. If you want to know what's happening behind the scenes and have some level of customization, an open source product might fit your needs better. Also, if you want to choose the cloud or even from where your application is going to run, Firebase does not allow that. It has vendor locking, which is a big problem for some people, and is, it has a very complex pricing strategy that might break your business over time. So pay attention to those items before you start delivering your app to Firebase and be sure to try out options as well because there are many, many very good solutions out there. 